tonight. I'm John McKay. For grieving families, answers can never come quickly enough. But for the family of Joseph Hutchison, the questions are still coming. He died in the lobby of the Dallas County Jail two weeks ago. And then late last week, the deputies involved were put on restricted duty. But why did it take so long for officials to take that step? News 8's Tanya Iser tonight has that story for us. Tanya? Well, John, that's a good question and one we have yet to get the answer to. Incidentally, they were actually placed on restricted duty the same day that the family of Joseph Hutchison and civil rights activists announced that they were going to have a press conference to demand release of the video surveillance footage. James Hutchison has many questions about why his unarmed brother died in a deadly scuffle in the Dallas County Jail lobby. His latest question, why did the sheriff's department wait so long to put six staff members involved in the incident on restricted duty? I would think that that would happen on day one. I mean, I don't understand. He, his mother, and his brother's wife spoke out during an emotional press conference Friday. How is this possible? Demanding the release of video. He's still stunned that sheriff's deputies met them in riot gear when they marched into the lobby that night. I'm not for making it go away. You know what I mean? I'm for, hey, show me the tape. Hutchison's brother, Joseph, ran into the jail lobby August 1st, screaming for help. Sheriff's deputies say his behavior was erratic and strange, so they restrained and handcuffed him. But witnesses interviewed by News 8 that day say the deputies stepped over the line. They got him handcuffed and... One of the jailers had his knee up against his, uh, walking his airway on his neck, and, they, and the man is you know, in between gas of breath going, you know, I can't breathe, I'm sorry, please don't kill me. The sheriff's department has refused to release footage, saying it would taint witnesses who they have yet to interview. Why wouldn't they be gathering them people up right then? Even now, Hutchison says no one from the sheriff's department has reached out to the family. It's pitiful. I mean, my mom's, I mean, it's just like it's, it's like you got the knife in and you're just twisting and it's it just so pull it out, give us some relief. Clearly the pressure is beginning to build on Sheriff Lupe Valdez. I'm told that several prominent members of the LGBT community have actually reached out to one of the civil rights activists who was involved in this protest and at, protest and has actually asked him to back off. Sheriff Lupe Valdez was actually the first gay elected sheriff in the state of Texas. Back to you, John. Thanks a lot, Tanya Iser reporting for us tonight. Well